I would never say that it interests me. It I I get an enjoyment out of it more. Like some of the best things that I've ever done in my life have been through doing drag, and some of the best people that I've ever met in my life have been through doing drag. I stopped doing them when I first moved to London for like a year and a half, and because I wasn't having a creative outlet in that way, I, I definitely made me feel down almost. Uh, so sometimes it can be a need. And then when I, once I started doing it again, I, I, I felt much better, I felt more of myself. I don't have two different characters, like I, I don't have, there's not, there's not a Jean-Marie character and there's not an Andrew character, like, or there's not just me, like it's the same person. I think I act as, exactly the same in drag as I do normal, because it, the, it's not a character like that I'm, I'm putting on. My, um, my drag look is definitely, it is a more, more of the, like the real side of like, so it's more, I would say it's more female impersonation more than it is drag. This wall like is good to have as well because if ever I'm at home at night and I'm thinking, oh shit, what am I going to wear? Obviously I can't afford any of these things in this wall, but it's nice to like, <clears throat> to get inspiration from because a lot of the pieces on this wall would be very like pieces that that, that Sean would probably wear and have and have been inspired by. I think I think it, uh, it's an amalgamation of the performance side of it and the fact of I'm always with my friends when I do it and we always have some like I I I always associate with having fun because everything that I've ever done with drag has always been fun and it's it's that it is that thrill of. And that is why I perform now because it is a, like a you, it is like a drug when you do it. It's that audience. It is that audience reaction of getting that. It's fun, but it's very hard work, and it is very hard work, and it's it, it does take a toll on you sometimes. And it's a very intimidating thing, and a lot of people I think are intimidated by 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 doing it because they don't want people to think bad things of them. Or that, that maybe that, that 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 they're differently inclined. I think it's more exposed into the gay gay community, and it's more of a stigmatism and attachment to gay life. But there's hundreds of websites and hundreds of men and thousands probably that do it. It is important for me, as I said. Like, it's a creative outlet. It's a it's a way for me to be around my friends a, a lot more and to bring enjoyment into my life and bring bring fun and. You know, and that, that makes you happy. And I think it's a very important thing in life to be happy. It's the most important thing in life. It's just an incredible, like, feeling of freedom that you get when you're with the Sink the Pink crowd because they will let you be whatever you want, think that whatever you do is amazing because you've had the courage or just the fun kind of just the fun freedom to kind of do whatever it is that you're doing. It's um, got all the, the stupid maddening elements of family to it. We all share a sisterhood. Um, and there are, you know, I hate to sound really pageanty, but they're all like, they're all really wonderful. I never set out to become a drag queen or a trans kind of identifying person, um, but it definitely gave me the confidence and made my made me start to think about doing it more often. I always get a sense of enjoyment out of that. The fact that I'm always around my friends, we're always laughing, we're always having a good time, and that for the main main thing for me is is why I do it. By going into a different facade, what you do and by putting by putting on a different face, you can turn around and look back at where you've come from and that's when you see the scaffolding. That's when you see the construction of the original. This weird mix of, of shame and victory is is intoxicating. There is something there is a thing about that. It, it, it is there is a an, it does drag comes with its own ecstasy.
I love you very much. I love you as much as I love anybody. As much as I love myself. And in a few years, when I haven't been around to be on your tail about something or irritating you, you're gonna remember. You're gonna remember that time that I bought you the baseball glove when you thought we were too broke. You know? Or when I, I read you those stories. Or when I, I let you goof off instead of mowing the lawn. Lots of things like that. And you're gonna realize that you love me. And maybe you're gonna feel badly because you never told me. But don't. 